Today we are going to create a portrait typography with just one click. So let's get started. First of all, let's check out this collage of words that I have created for you guys. Because I know whenever you try to put a typography on a portrait, you want your own words, not mine. You can edit this collage. The download link is in the description. This collage consists only 10 words and you can easily edit each words. Let me show you, double click on text one here. You see this creative letter and I am going to change this word to something else. Double click on text layer and write your own text in it. Remember the text should be inside the canvas not outside. Otherwise the collage text will intersect with each other. Reduce this letter spacing while holding alt and left arrow. Now save it. You see in this collage Creative text is replaced with the subscribe text. Let's also change the color to yellow. Save it again. Did you see the change? Now the color is also updated. Let's undo it and save it. Similarly, you can change all the text you want. There are predefined 10 smart objects and you can easily change them. Just put your text in and save it. You can also create your own collage if you want. So before we make our typography portrait, let's record it in the action. Go to windows, action. Create a new set of words collage. Click OK. Create a new action. Name it convert to words collage. Now start recording. Now each step we take here on will be recorded in this section. Now select collage group and here you see in the action palette our selection is recorded. Now while holding shift select your text here group as well. Now press ctrl E and merge both groups. When we create action it's very important to be extra careful when we take any step. Now while holding alt and right arrow key, create a copy of your text here layer and move it to the right. Now while holding alt shift left bracket key, select backward layer and press ctrl E to merge it. Again make a duplicate copy and repeat the process. This time we are going to create a copy and move it downwards. You see when we create a collage and repeat its copy, it gives really a symmetrical effect. So to make it non-symmetrical, just move this layer to the left side. Now we only need to make two more copies and we are done with this collage. Now rename this layer as words collage. Add an adjustment layer of solid color for the background. Make it black. Click OK. Double click on layer and rename it as background color. Now while holding Ctrl Shift left bracket, move it backward. Now add an adjustment layer of gradient map. Make it black and white. Click OK. Now move the image layer right above the words collage layer. Now while holding alt, click in between both layers when you see this clipping mask icon. Now the image is clipped with words collage layer and our typography portrait is also ready. Remember the photo you are going to use for this should have a black base or otherwise you can cut out your photo. Also the words detail in your portrait depends on the collage detail. It means how smaller the words in your collage or how bigger the words in your collage. It's also important to create an action for a photo that have near about 2000 pixels to between 3000 pixels so that we can get good results out of it. This image height width is 3000 pixels. Now while holding control, select all layers and create a group. Name it words collage. Let's color this layer to blue to give it a more professional look. Now stop the recording. Now we have our own action, let's play it in another photo and see the results. But you need to follow certain condition to play this action on another file. 
Let's close this file and open it again. When I start created this action, I have one layer and two groups in this file. So I need these two groups and the image name should be same as this one like image to play the action. Now open the image, now unlock the layer and name it as image. I should be in uppercase, just like how we did it in our previous file. Now drag these two groups inside that image. Place it in the corner and remember don't scale the collage. We can just scale it down later. Place both groups in the left top corner. Now play the action. And our own typography portrait collage is ready. You see here the words are looking too big according to the image because the image size is lower than our previous file. So to adjust it, just scale the collage from both sides. You can see now a lot more details than before. The image background is not black. That's why here we can see text in the background as well. To avoid this, just black the background or you can just cut out your image. You can also edit the gradient map and add different colors. I hope you learned something new from this tutorial and if you do, please subscribe to my channel, give it a big thumbs up, tell me your views in the comment section, how was the tutorial. In the upcoming weeks, I'm going to upload some really interesting tutorials for you guys. So let's meet on another tutorial. Thank you so much for watching Graphic Aina. My name is Shubham. For the time being, goodbye.